Deb, as one woman put it to us today outside the National Cathedral, we're paying honor to President Bush by our presence. She was one of many who came to D.C. or came down from their building where they worked or lived to take part in person. Because of logistics, though, you had to pick one place or the other. Do you pay your respects here outside the cathedral or as the motorcade was making its way from the Capitol? <laughs> Motorcades ruled this day in D.C., but hundreds of people waited outside in the cold for hours for this one. The motorcade of President George H.W. Bush. Stanchions lowered for the special traffic flow as it made its way past the White House. History firsthand for the crowd at this end of Pennsylvania Avenue. I'm 64 years old, and this is kind of a once in a lifetime thing for me. It was, uh frankly fun to see uh, President George W. go by and Way 41 and 43 <laughs> and the uh, historic event. It was great to be here for it. It's nice to honor people who have done something good for the world. Yeah, just about that how significant it is in history. Um, you know, that um, everybody can't see it and we're just blessed to be here. They were across town at the National Cathedral too, behind more barriers and bike racks, more people who took the day to take part. Now we give him up. We commend him for tear loving hands. A shared national moment. Common ground found while huddling around an iPhone. I guess you kind of feel like you're in there. And so you can still support him and his family and what he's done for the nation um, just by showing your presence. And since we can't get inside, this is kind of the next best thing. And you know, because we watch this service with dozens of other people, we're able to tell you that we saw it strike an emotional chord with people here. There was tears, many people cried, mostly during the eulogy delivered by former President George W. Bush. Reporting live from Northwest Washington tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL, TV 11 News.